Well, I hope you had a good weekend. It's a Monday morning, the 22nd day of March, but it was a bad weekend for the Lakers as they fall to the Phoenix Suns, 111 to 94. You know, without both our big guys, uh, AD and of course LBJ, um, we're shorthanded right now. So we're 0-2 without LeBron and AD. And tomorrow we have to play the Pelicans before finishing off the month of March with uh, Cleveland and of course Philly and Orlando and then Milwaukee. Um, but baseball season is only 10 days away. Yeah, the Dodgers play the Mariners tonight. It's our last week in Arizona. And uh, well, it was only 67 yesterday. It should be close to 70 today and tomorrow. Wednesday is gonna be the peak day, but then temperatures dip down again Thursday and Friday. And then next weekend looks pretty nice actually. Um, well, a happy birthday to Bob Costas. Yeah, the sportscaster. Yeah, he's been with NBC for a very long time. Yeah, he's did the NBA Finals, the World Series, the Olympics. He's done it all. And uh, did a lot of baseball on NBC and the MLB Network. And also a happy birthday to jazz guitarist George Benson and to uh, Juan Uribe and to Ramon Martinez. Hmm. Yeah, it's so, I mean, the Lakers are the three seed in the Western Conference right now. Yeah, I mean, if, if the season ended today, we would have home court advantage at least in the first round. But yes, I mean, if you at least hold the one seed or the two seed, you'll have home field advantage throughout the playoffs. Yeah, or home court advantage. But I'm not sure how the NBA playoffs will be played out this year because of COVID. Um, because of course last year we were in a bubble in Orlando, Florida. And yes, I saw that spring break has been a little bit out of control. That cases might go up again. Yeah, I mean, I think some counties might move into the orange tier this week. The cases keep dropping. It's like per 100,000 residents, I think. But I'm not sure when indoor arenas will be allowed to allow fans yet. Because I think we will wait, raise that championship banner from last season when fans do return to Staples Center. But Dodger Stadium looks to be 20% right now. And then slowly to 33%. But I'm not sure when we're gonna have 56,000 again. Yeah, most games, you know, when we have 56,000 people or at least 50,000 is like 4th of July, opening day, bobblehead, special promotions. I know when Vince Scully had his retirement ceremony, it was packed. Or whenever the Dodgers are close to winning the division championship, that's when Dodger Stadium is usually a sellout or when certain teams come to town, like the Giants or maybe the Padres. Uh, the Angels, and sometimes every once in a while we play the Yankees. And yes, it does sell out. And of course the playoffs and World Series always sell out. And I'm sure the All-Star game will be sold out too. Now, meanwhile, have a good rest of your day. Now I'll talk to you later. Amen.